Why, hello there, and welcome to New York, New York. We are here in Manhattan. We're gonna be having a Ghostbusters day behind me, very tiny. The Statue of Liberty, very fitting for Ghostbusters. Big part of Ghostbusters part two. So we're gonna be doing some Ghostbusters filming locations, not a lot, nothing crazy. Um, Definitely gonna visit the firehouse, which is all donned up for the new movie, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. And then we're gonna go uh, a couple blocks away from the firehouse and watch the movie. So it's, it's gonna be fun. Let's go for a Ghostbusters day. Let's go. Currently construction walls all up, so you can't get a real good view. But nonetheless, there she is. At the end of Ghostbusters 2, the boys take over Lady Liberty. They use her to come on over here to that building right in the center. That is the National Museum of the American Indian. That is where Vigo the Carpathian. And they have a final battle at this museum. On this side, the main entrance. Last time I was here in New York, I was with my friend Brian from Real to Real Locations. And he kept talking about how scaffolding all over the place, scaffolding, scaffolding, scaffolding always ruins your photos, which is very true. Stay puffed. A little play mobile, stay puffed and the firehouse, foreshadowing. We have made our way up to Fifth Avenue and East 42nd Street. This is as north as we are going to go on this adventure. Now, if we went down this way, there are quite a few more locations down that way. If you look all the way down the street, you can see that clearing that is Central Park. Uh, that is over where 55 Central Park West Spook Central, Dana Barrett's apartment. We have Tavern on the Green over there. There's also quite a bit of Ghostbusters 2 shots over that way, which I still have to make it to. So we're gonna have to do a, a Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters 2 Ultimate location video on time. But for today's adventure, this is as north as we're going. We're gonna start right over here in this building, which has had a little bit of a facelift. So this can be seen in the original Ghostbusters movie, the Manhattan National Bank. This is where they take Ray to take out his third mortgage, right in this building here. It has undergone quite a facelift. Uh, these blocks can be seen. Those are the same, but this whole walkway, this whole opening and everything, that is all different. And if you turn and look right across the way here, we have our opening shot to the entire franchise right over there. You're never gonna regret this, Ray. My parents left me that house. I was born there. You're not gonna lose the house. Everybody has three mortgages now. But at 19 per second, you didn't even bother with the guy. Right. That was our very first shot of the Ghostbusters franchise, right over there at our lion. Now the reading room was used in the film as well. There are shots in the reading room from inside there. It is closed today, unfortunately. We'll have to get back in there. When we do that Ghostbusters video, that, that entire filming location video, the ultimate filming locations, but the reading room was used in there. However, the basement scenes with the librarian ghost, that was actually filmed in the basement in a library in Los Angeles. Not even this, not even this location. But when we start speaking, start speaking Frozen Empire, we also have 
this lion featured right here. Very CGI'd, of course, with a very low shot, but we got Ray standing on the stairs right there. This guy comes to life, roars at him. But why are you digging? Mars! Alright, that has nothing to do with that. I'm just throwing that out there. Ghostbusters 2, they were digging in the street. That did not happen here in New York. And they're not digging. It looks like they're welding in there. But you get the point. Yeah, that scene was actually filmed in Los Angeles. Downtown Los Angeles. I do have a video on that. A real quick video. Lots of, lots of Ghostbusters stuff. I can say I am definitely a fan. I was just waiting for the walk symbol. I got distracted. Walk. Walk. Ghostbusters is definitely in my top 10 films of all time. I love it. It is one of the VHS tapes that I just watched over and over and over again. We're gonna be able to go. What's going on here? They got it stopped. We're going. We're going. We, we did not have the right of way there. But the franchise as a whole is amazing. I love it, except for the 2016. We won't talk about that. Just like Bruno. We don't talk about that. But yeah, Ghostbusters. On the corner of Fifth Avenue and East 19th Street now, almost a perfectly straight shot, one mile in that direction to the public library building we were just standing at. Fifth Avenue here can be seen in the trailer for Frozen Empire. You see the Ecto-1 going up and down this street, chasing some ghosts. Oh my goodness, the ghosts are trying to escape. They're coming out of the containment unit. Look at them. Oh my goodness, that misty fog just coming out. That's a lot of steam. Making our way through Washington Square Park. Very beautiful park, even though everything's almost dead. Hey, we got some flowers blooming over here. That's interesting. This is a very recognizable spot from Ghostbusters 2. Makes a very brief appearance with the archway ghost. Comes right through the archway here. Now he doesn't make a very long appearance, but uh, we got a ghost, a giant monster, just kind of ducking underneath the arch. We're on the wrong side though. There we go, that's better. And our final location stop, located on North Moore Street and Varick Street, a location I have visited before and I could sit here and stare at it absolutely forever. Iconic, right there, very iconic. Look at that, it's all done up for Frozen Empire as well. It's like a big movie advertisement. It's frozen. The firehouse is frozen, and it's open! As we take a step inside the firehouse here, up, hanging, we have the Screen Use Ghostbusters 2 sign that was out hanging in front of the firehouse in front of the Ghostbusters station. Some merchandise that you can purchase, some shirts, pin, hoodie. And of course, a real working fire station. This is fire engine number eight. Ghostbusters sign frozen out front. Whew, it is chilly, it's cold. I'm right there with you, pal. I am right there with you. I don't know if I... 
mentioned it at all, but it's like 30 degrees right now. It's supposed to be spring. What is going on? Ooh, little marshmallow guys. Those guys are funny. Looking forward to seeing them in the film. It is so cold out here. We do have a QR code over here with some information. Safety tips. And scan for tickets. Ghostbusters. Frozen Empire. Another QR code here on the sidewalk. I'm not sure what happens if you scan that. And they typically have Ghostbusters New York little emblems here, but they're covered up. They're covered. I could literally stand here all day. This is so amazing. Quite the tourist attraction. Very distinct architecture. Hook and ladder number eight, a working fire department. It's phenomenal. It's amazing. We're in the Tribeca area. And now it's time to head over to the watch the movie Frozen Empire. Hey guys. Hey. Hey guys. You ready to watch Ghostbusters? Yeah. Frozen Empire? You're a little frozen, aren't you? Yeah. Let's go. And now for the main attraction. We're going through the doors. Yes, we're going through the spinny doors. The escalator is broken. It is two levels up to Regal and I smell popcorn. We are definitely getting closer. When we get to 20, tell me. Cause I'm gonna throw up. Here at the Regal and Battery Park, this certainly is a big apple. This is very interesting, the box office. We already have our tickets though. And the tickets are digital, so from the wallet. Oh, there they are. I finally made it to the theater. We have some Ghostbusters trivia going on while we're sitting here waiting for the film to begin. So it is time to put the camera away and just take in the sights and enjoy. See ya on the other side. And that was fun. I enjoyed it. Was it the best Ghostbusters movie ever? No, absolutely not. Was it a very good addition to the franchise? I'm going to have to say yes. I enjoyed it. It was a good, uh, just, you know, take some popcorn down and enjoy it. Uh, not, don't want to say any spoilers. Um, I will say a little bit with the locations. Uh, Washington Square Park used a little bit more than I, I realized. That's pretty cool. So, so we hit that location up. Um, the, a lot of this movie was filmed on sound stages. Uh, in London, so even a lot of the firehouse stuff isn't actually at the firehouse, but it's really cool. A lot of cool locations. We're gonna have to come back, so we're gonna do the Ghostbusters Ultimate filming location adventure once it gets a little bit warmer, because this is truly a frozen empire out here. And you may be wondering why I'm showing out this window. If you look back 
past those buildings, if you could have x-ray vision to see through them, that is actually uh, where the fire station is, right there, right on the other side of those buildings. If those buildings weren't there, if they weren't in the way, we could actually see the top of the station, which is amazing that we just watched the film and the firehouse is right there. It's a long way down. But that's gonna do it for this adventure, Ghostbusters. So yeah, that's it. It was a good day. It was a good time. Now time to go home. Back to home base. If you enjoyed the video, like it, subscribe to the channel. We do lots of filming locations, travel videos, and random things from time to time. And until next time, be good, have fun, and learn something. We are back at home base now. And I forgot to show this addition for the nerd room. So we have the ghost trap popcorn bucket. Completely forgot to show this. So we did get this. It was $30 if you include a large popcorn with it. A uh, little, little much, but, but pretty cool. Pretty cool. We'll go strap. Details are pretty decent for a popcorn bucket. Can't complain. Not at all.